Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And before we do begin with today's video, we're going to be talking about iOS 13 developer beta 5, some additional new features and changes that I've come across. My 24 hour follow up as I usually like to do if you follow me here on the channel. You guys already know that. Uh, but before we do begin, I wanted to share with you guys my new studio setup. I'm very happy with the new setup and I just wanted to share with you guys. This is what you've been looking at for the past week and a half or so. I just wanted to give you a quick walkthrough. Right here on the desk I have my primary device, my iPhone XR, which is running iOS 13, testing that day in and day out. I have my Mac here. I have my wireless charger. I'll have links down below, by the way, for everything in the description. I have my HomePod, my 100,000 subscriber plaque over there. I have my new iPhone boxes here in the background. I like to do that for decoration. My classic iPhone, my first generation iPhone. And then I have all the iPhones that I'm working with here from newest to oldest. But a big shout out, I wanna give a big huge shout out to Anthro Desk. Anthro Desk is a company that makes some of the coolest desks in the world. They've provided me with this awesome desk to set up my new studio. And I think if you ever need a desk that's customizable so you don't have to hunch or stretch when you're working, this is the way to go. It has programmable buttons and you can program these buttons for a specific height, sitting and standing positions. You also have manually adjustments uh, with the arrows up and down and then you have a home button as well which brings you back to the pre-programmed settings. Of course I have my lighting here in the studio. I have some echo foam in the walls as well as the new chair which a lot of you guys recommended on Twitter. I want to thank you guys for recommending this chair as well. But anyway guys just an overall look at what you're looking at here in the studio. By the way the emoji in the background and the LED lights. The emojis I won at Coney Island uh, this was in New York City, Brooklyn, New York. And yes, without further ado, let's go ahead and uh, start with today's video, iOS 13 Developer Beta 5. So what's new with iOS 13 Developer Beta 5? After 24 hours of testing, I want to share some additional changes within the software. Now, you guys can anticipate another follow-up video two to three days after the release of this video that you're watching, so stay tuned for that. That video will be more about the battery, the performance, any bugs or any issues. I'll also start a YouTube community poll where I link it down below so you guys can go ahead and vote and also leave your suggestions on how the software is performing for you. So that follow-up video is coming two to three days after this one. So let's go ahead and begin with some of the changes within the last 24 hours that I've noticed. Number one, within the status bar, the LTE text is a lot bolder. Now, Apple has been refined in iOS 13 in its entirety. The text overall is bolder. Everything is a cleaner look, more refined, more compact. Now that translates over to the actual volume HUD. So this is an iPhone running iOS 13 and beta 4. You see how much bigger and bolder uh, the actual volume HUD is in comparison to beta 5. So take a look here, beta 5 versus beta 4. We see that the volume HUD is smaller, more compact in beta 5 in comparison to beta 4. It is less intrusive. Now, when you also press on the volume up or down, the feedback that you get on the iPhone from the Tactic Engine is more refined so it's more rapid depending on how you press the volume HUD if you leave it pressed you get a rapid succession of feedback from the Taptic Engine it really gives the OS sort of life so it's really cool I really like that Apple is refining uh, every every aspect of the OS I'm looking forward for Apple to add some additional new features before this software is is released to the actual public now yesterday on Twitter developer Rambo has shared with us what is a card very similar to what we see when we go to connect AirPods to the iPhone, these type of cards here. Uh, so yesterday, this was shared on Twitter. I'll link that down below. This is Siri for everyone. Now, if you have a group of your family in the house and you are all connected to the same home application, Siri will be able to recognize your voice on the HomePod. Now, this is not yet available. Siri does not have a beta for iOS 13 as of yet. Uh, but once it is, this is the type of prompt that you'll see and Siri will be able to recognize your voice and when you ask her for a request, rather it is a reminder, your calendar, any events, any text messages, it would read your information and your stuff to you by using a voice recognition. So Siri for everyone is something that coming that is coming to iOS 13 with the HomePod in combination with the iPhone. Now on both the iPad OS as well as iOS, if we go to the home application and we go to the home settings, we now see new wallpapers. The actual wallpapers for the home application 
have been changed. So if we go here, you see that we have red, yellow, blue, purple, green, just new colors. I wish Apple would actually make these wallpapers also available for iOS itself so you can use them on your iPhone. They look really, really nice. If there's a wallpaper designer watching this video, if you can make these wallpapers and make them available, I'll be sure to share these with my audience here. It would be pretty cool. I really want these on the iPhone. Now, on the iPad, there's also a major change also happening here with iPad OS. We now have under settings and a display and brightness, we have a brand new option. If we scroll all the way down here, we have more or bigger. So more is the same icon layout that we're used to on iPad OS 13 with the widgets on the left and smaller icons towards the right of the screen. So if we go here and we select a bigger, this actually brings you back to the traditional iPad layout that we're used to with iOS 12 and below for iPad OS. So I personally prefer the more option here so you can have the widgets on the screen as well as some icons, but I'm happy to share that Apple has added these options here under again display and the brightness options for the iPad. Additional things that Apple has fixed, the AirPods indicator under the control center. So for whatever reason when connecting AirPods on previous betas, what I was getting was an actual speaker on the volume right here for the control center. So let's say AirPods are connected. Now it's an actual AirPod icon. Before it was just sort of like a speaker looking thing. I'm not sure why that was, but that has been addressed with the latest beta. Now overall, the software looks refined. If I come across any additional new features and changes, I'll be adding those to my long-term follow-up that I talked about will be live on the channel in the next two to three days. Uh, this has been a follow-up on some additional new features and changes for iOS 13 developer beta 5. I hope you guys enjoy the video and have a great day. I will see you guys very soon. Peace.